Ambassador Gambari, a Nigerian scholar diplomat, was the first Under Secretary General and Special Advisor to the Secretary General on Africa 1999 to 2005. In that capacity, he worked closely with heads of government, key policymakers, as well as institutions on the continent to develop the new Partnership of Africa's Development (NEPAD). During this period. He was concurrently the resident special representative of the Secretary General and head of the United Nations mission to Angola 2002 to 2003. He has been a delegate to the Assembly of the African Union as a national delegate 1984 to 1985 and as a member of the UN Secretary General's delegation 2000 to 2012. Ambassador Ibrahim Gambari is currently the founder, chairman of Savannah Center External Link in Abuja, Nigeria, a think tank for research, training and public policy debate on the nexus between diplomacy, conflict resolution, democracy and development in Africa. His last assignment at the United Nations was as the Joint Special Representative of the Secretary General and Chairperson of the African Union Commission head of the UN and AU hybrid mission on the 4 Junamid from January 2010 to July 2012. During Ambassador Gambari's tenure, Junamid was the world's largest international peacekeeping mission. Ambassador Gambari has held several leadership positions at the national, regional and international levels and has built extensive contacts with governments as well as public and private institutions, especially in Africa. He was the chairman of the United Nations Special Committee Against Apathy 1990-1994, during which he worked closely with African governments to coordinate UN policy to eradicate apathy, thereby building trust and confidence with governments and policy makers in member countries of the Southern African Development Community SADC. At the global level, Ambassador Gambari was Under Secretary General and head of the United Nations Department of Political Affairs 2005 to 2007. In that period, he also operated as UN Secretary General's Special Envoy on Cyprus, Zimbabwe and Myanmar. On May 22, 2007, the Secretary General entrusted him with the Good Offices mandate on Myanmar. He was also appointed in 2007 by the Secretary General as Under Secretary General and Special Advisor on Iraq Compact and other issues. Positions he held until 2009. Thank the Almighty Allah for the opportunity and the President of the Federal Republic for giving me this opportunity to serve him and of course uh, the country. So what will Nigerians expect from you as well? Well, I have not started, so I'll find out and let the I, I don't report directly to the to the nation. I report to the President and so I what serve him. I think you have to ask the President. <laughs> <laughs> I think he demands loyalty, competence, and support. What would be your guiding principles as chief of staff? To serve the president to the best of my ability. <laughs> Members of the board of IDRC, the executive president David Malon, about which I'm going to say a few words later, excellencies, friends and colleagues, including Carol Makaski, who is my colleague at the UN, uh, Professor Haga, who is a uh, my boss here as a representative of, the, of Nigeria, I still carry Nigerian passport. Um, and uh, I, I believe Dave, uh, David Angel said he might come, so we'll look forward to seeing him. He was High Commissioner of Canada to Nigeria and is back in the Foreign Ministry. 
um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First of all, thank you very much, David, for inviting me here and for those wonderful introduction. I myself believe that if the government were to leave the state of emergency, that is freedom of association, freedom of speech, freedom from arbitrary arrest, that will encourage people to come out to demand an end to the war. That will uh, encourage, uh, they will put pressure on the armed movement to come and join the peace process, which can only be to the benefit of the government and of the people of Darfur. Before joining the United Nations, he served his country as ambassador and permanent representative of Nigeria to the United Nations between 1990 and 1999. He was also Minister of Foreign Affairs of Nigeria 1984 to 1985 and worked closely with regional leaders, institutions and governments particularly within the Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, on the economic and political development of the sub-region. Prior to these, he was the Director General of the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs. As a scholar, Ambassador Gambari is the author of several books and scholarly articles. He began his teaching career as a lecturer at the Queen's College, City University of New York, 1969 to 1974, followed by an assistant professorship at the State University of New York between 1974 and 1977. Upon returning to Nigeria, he was appointed senior lecturer at the Amadi Bello University, Zaria, 1977 to 1980, and he rose to become an associate professor reader, 1980 to 1983, and subsequently full professor at the same university in 1983, where he is present, and subsequently full professor at the State University, 1983 till present currently on leave of absence. Ambassador Gambari was a visiting professor at the School of Advanced International Studies of the Johns Hopkins University, Georgetown University, and Howard University in Washington, D.C. from 1986 to 1989. Ambassador Gambari was also a research fellow at the Brookings Institution, Washington, D.C., as well as a resident scholar with the Rockefeller Foundation Center in Bellagio, Italy. A recipient of the third highest national honor, commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, CFR, Ambassador Gambari has also been awarded the Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa from the University of Bridgeport, Connecticut, 2002, and Fallon Dixon University, New Jersey, 2006. Others include Honorary Doctorate of Public Service, Chatham University, May 2008, and Honorary Doctor of Letters, University of Ibadan, Nigeria, in November 2011. He has also received the Special Recognition for International Development and Diplomacy Award conferred by the Africa America Institute in September 2007. The Distinguished Foreign Service Award by the Federal Government of Nigeria in April 2008. The International House Harry Edmonds Award for Lifetime Achievement, New York, in May 2009 and the Campaign Against Genocide Medal by the Republic of Rwanda, that is, July 2010. Ambassador Gambari received South Africa's highest national honor conferred on non-citizens, the Order of the Companions of O.R. Tambo, which was conferred to him personally by President Jacob Zuma on October 26, 2012. Professor Gambari was elected to the Johns Hopkins University Society of Scholars in 2002 and has since 2005 served as a member of the International Advisory Board of the Institute of Peace, Leadership and Governance at Africa University, Zimbabwe. He was appointed as fourth chancellor, Kwara State University in Nigeria, March 2013. It is on this note, with the achievements and accomplishments of Professor Ibrahim Gambari, that African Eye declares him Man of the Year 2020.